I got to give formalize the giving away the car. And obviously, they weren't going to go with the Super Bowls. Of course not. Why but they, uh, they but would agree. Anyway, <laughs> they would agree to let us put five random listeners locked in a car with Boo. either the smelliest person or different bags of smelly material. Okay. Um, yeah, they want us to do anything fun with the car thing. We want to. Well, my idea was fun. You get like everybody in the thing, and we put a hose in the exhaust pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that. You know? <laughs> How about we, we make them drive and we drop bricks through the window? <laughs> no, Q and A. They drop a fucking rock through the windshield. Did the smelly aspect go away? Yeah, I hate yeah it. exactly. Let's a bunch of fucking vaginas, I was like that. <laughs> a bunch of homeless lady vaginas <laughs> taken out with a taken out with a post hole digger. <laughs> exactly. You dig out her uterus with a spade shovel. And you, fucking, you make them smell it by the radio. <laughs> Uh, of course, Steve enjoyed that. It involved a woman having her uterus taken out <laughs> with his shovel. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> I got him. If I would have killed her after, he'd be tickled pink. I love this. Yes, yeah, it's very amusing. They're all, they're all kinds, including my mother and the Virgin Mary. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 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 oh god. Um what else there? Well, that's a big thing. We need to if we give it away before the virus, we can have it on stage and get the keys to the winner and do something good at the virus tour too. Like fucking drive it like onto the stage, yeah, maybe. sure, and then fucking right into the audience. How great would that be? <laughs> if you set the car on fire and just <laughs> <laughs> you drive it into the audience, <laughs> that's another thing Steve likes too. People on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you could just throw my shirt on it. <laughs> we could do something with that uh, New York Grand Prix. Maybe we could have a Grand Prix race with them. Because we still have that guy who wants to do something with you guys. The go-karts go 50 miles an hour. It's a, <laughs> it's a miniature little track. <laughs> uh, how about this? We have a race. Yeah. We race the Mustang against a quadriplegic who's blowing into a tube. <laughs> and the loser, the loser gets whipped with an electric... <laughs> I can see this working. <laughs> Running past the lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> the loser gets whipped with an electrical cord across, across his chest. <laughs> I didn't even get the word quadriplegic out of here. No! <laughs> uh. What is it, a $30,000 <laughs> They're actually trying to conduct yeah. a meeting here. Well, Jimmy's just back. fucking imagining atrocities. <laughs> <laughs> Driving flaming cars. But you just, you, you fucking put a brick on the fucking gas <laughs> And you start it, and it just goes, and it only goes like three rows in. <laughs> and the fucking, the, the back end is still on the stage, and the front is just tipped in, and it crushes like seven people. And the Why'd they do it? <laughs> <laughs> For three weeks, deadly spores will burst from the alien. Any ant nearby risks infection. Oh, wow. And the same fate. Mm. Like those ants know, those ants know to get him out of there. Yeah. He's got ant aids, yeah. Just ant aids. Because he's bumbling around the fucking nest. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> he's like, weird. oh my god, he's got the brain fungus. Look at the queen, that bitch got nice titties. Oh god, get him out, get him out, get him out. Got the parasite, it's talking shit. I'm gonna go take a walk to where the spores are. He's like, no, that's not him talking. <laughs> he would never walk where the spores are. It's true, he must act like silly for an ant. <laughs> yeah. He must act goofy. He's like, I ain't carrying shit, motherfucker. I got brain to feed on. So like, that's not, why would he eat his own Brains, crazy. Get him out. Uh, Ted's not acting right. Hang him, carry no motherfucking cricket yeah. leg. <laughs> I don't want to be with other ants. I want to be with spores. All right, Ted's got to go. The Ted the ant. Ted the ant. Ted the parasitically infected ant. He's got to go. He's spinning in a circle, being an ass. He's giving away our position. <laughs> The N word, the R word, the F word, which is now faggot. It's not fuck. Right. Yeah, yeah. What is the F word? Uh, faggot. Faggot. Yeah. C word. Is that it? It's it's nigger, cunt, faggot, and retard. Those oh, are the words right God. now that we're saying that you can't say. They're so right basically, now. whenever I need my girlfriend, I have to yell, "Hey, you." <laughs> <laughs>
He missed. Well, you know, the midget word will be there soon, and then yeah. Oriental is another I one. Think that's I think I actually be, heard the M there. word. I think I heard the M word for midget already. Yeah, good luck they with that They don't want to fucking... Yeah, yeah, we'll good, get, good it's a lowercase M. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about it, and he was like, look at mine, so I looked at his. Mm -hmm. And then he, then I raised my blanket, and he looked at mine. Mm. Then he takes his hand... And pushes my penis. Now we're towards... in the we're in the present tense. This is interesting. Ah, uh, now. <laughs> then, then he now what he does? <laughs> Wait, he takes your pe takes his hand and he points your penis. No, no, he he took my penis and pulled like pushed it towards my balls. Ow. Well, well, not like bent it. Oh. Like what? You were like... gonna fire a flaming cannonball exactly. over the fucking wall to the fort? <laughs> That's exactly what he did. And he released, and we then he just watched my penis fucking. <laughs> Fly back and forth like one do the the reason why the face. boing <laughs> sound is made for the boner exactly that's what the, the boing kind of vibrate. Then I did it to him, and we constantly just did that, and then he ended up like constantly. Yeah, about like ten times each. Ten times going like, back and forth like you would reach over. It's probably like watching two guys play speed chess <laughs> <laughs> with no board. Flick <laughs> back, flick back. Ding, 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 ding. So we did that a couple of times. This isn't going to end good. Well, it, that's basically that's one story. What one finally happened? Wait a minute. So how did that end? Then you just, it just it you just, did that ten times and then said, "Hey, you want to get something to eat?" Yeah. It's yes. Just like and, no, who came on whose chest? Well, yeah. this was this was before I can ejaculate. Oh, okay. That's oh. The, okay. That's this yeah. is like the Clinton didn't, right. didn't inhale thing. Right. right. So you both right. just kind of pushed each other's dicks a little bit and then so let's get pushed each other's dicks yeah, then around. We, then we went downstairs and ate breakfast. Right. Would you have Fruit Loops? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cheap and perfect. <laughs> so cool. You it really should stupid. DVR the view. Every day, it's amazing to watch these uh, these uh, women speak. These hens. <clears throat> My chick gets uh, she gets pissed off how stupid they are, and I think a lot of women out there get pissed off at how stupid they are. It's an amazing show, worth watching for the comedy value. They're it's just, for chicks. Just cackling egg layers. <laughs> so they sound like cackling egg. They should all be sitting on a white thing in a nest. <laughs> fools. You know, people describe our show, uh, the appeal of the Opie and Anthony show, you get to hear guys being guys, yeah. right? And I think that's the appeal of The View. You get to see uh, broads being broads when the guys aren't. Broads. Right? And if this is any indication, wow. <laughs> wow. You ever go to a, uh, a party or a, a get-together, and uh, the the people kind of split up. The girls end up somewhere in the kitchen or somewhere, and then the guys end up in the living room, and they're both talking. And then you, you kind of get an ear over there into what the girls are talking about, and you're just like, I... I they're talking about the bacon that? and bacon. baskets. It's usually shoes... Or, or something that you just, I couldn't go over there. And... Just banal nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Decorative baskets. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it looks pretty good. It was a little blonder than I like it. But he highlighted, <laughs> shut up! There's no more going on. You never lean in and hear that. You never lean in and hear that. Right. Well, I can't believe there was that many troops killed. All right. It's just always some banal drivel. <laughs> it's just dreck. By, <laughs> by the way, I love the word banal. It should be used uh, way more on this show. Just nonsense. Banal's a great <laughs> word. And I told her that the lashes were a little long, so she goes, you want me to make them shorter? Right. <laughs> I don't know. Get it. I don't know. We cut off a half an inch. I really wanted an inch. What do you think? Never <sighs> political. It's never. It's never. I don't know. Obama did say that once in a debate, and then he backtracked. And I don't know why Hillary's not calling him. It's never that. No. no. I got a new nail girl, and she's not as good as my last one. <laughs> oh, it's just. What do you think of the color? You think he went too light? That's it. Look, and I broke this one. <laughs> I'm hoping it looks natural. What do you think? Uh, you know, and you can shut them all up by just dangling a shiny thing in front of them. <laughs> oh, Jesus <Christ. laughs> Just hang a watch and watch them all. Well, go, uh, uh, uh. I think that's <laughs> why I watch The View every day. It, it's the type of stuff that's on after we're done with our morning show, by the way. It's, a, it's all chick programming, so you can't help it. It's around. Yeah. I, I take a peek at Tyra every day, and she's still, you know, we never really... Harness the potential <laughs> that that tire brings. We really have it. 
I mean, she still makes it about herself no matter what. No matter what the subject is. No matter what. She has been through worse. She had Mandy Moore on the other day. Yeah. I know this is chick stuff. I get it. But Mandy Moore's, you know, Tyra goes, have you ever had a bad breakup? And Mandy Moore is ready to spill her guts about her bad breakup that still affects her to this day. And Mandy Moore maybe started talking about it for 15 seconds and then Tyra's like, yeah, let me tell you about my bad breakup. She Wait asked the yeah. question just so she could talk about her bad breakup, <laughs> and Mandy Moore's face is, was priceless. The have, look, have you ever been a black supermodel in a white world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about my experience in that. We, what? You know, we never minded the gold that Tyra has. We just yeah. have it. I mean, we'll we'll continue to try, but she is god awful. So anyway, the view. Um, they they have this new broad, Sherry Shepard. She She's stinks. as dumb as they come. She brings nothing but potential heart failure to the table. <laughs> Who does she replace, by the I way? I don't know. Star Jones, uh, you know. Corky? She's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's an old reference, but how many of the famous retards are there? Uh, true. Oh, liberals pipe up George Bush! <laughs> <laughs> It's like at a party when the girls break up and you poke your head in. What you hear? It's unabashed idiocy. <laughs> <laughs> unabashed idiocy. <laughs> it, it, it really is. It's it's pointless verbal pecking and just it's just dumb meandering. <laughs> It really is. It's a bunch of fashion tips and just pointless meandering. And banal in nature. <laughs> oh, the, the banality of their <laughs> the dribble <banality>. is mind-bending. <laughs> uh, when you say retard strength, and they could retard, you could go, yeah, I kick ass. I don't think this is really retard strength. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. <laughs> they give up all that strength just to know which one the left foot goes in. <laughs> <laughs> they give all that up. To be able to stop wearing Velcro shoes. <laughs> yeah. Just to once be able Lace to... Lace up like a man. Give it up for one good haircut. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> give it up just to once know what they're really laughing at. <laughs> so, convert, Kurt, you fucking... I had no idea all these years I know that you were a Jehovah's Witness and you converted yeah. nobody. Uh, yeah, I was a minister, dude. I mean, technically, I, was a, I could have done weddings if I had to. Really? But did, did it, other people in the church go like he he sucks? He's kind of <laughs> no, I, like we do in comedy. I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was good at it. I mean, I was good at the talking. Were you? Yeah, I, I, being real religious. If you're not the kind of person that's going to be religious, you just turn into a really good liar and like you know. What that's would what you it stress? Me into. What would you stress? It's not. It's not set up like that. It's like you go to three meetings a week. I mean, everybody that that uh, goes on and does little speeches and shit like. So I was good at that. I was good at getting up and speaking. What would be like if you, if Jim was the, oh, just opened his door, yeah. what would you say to him? Like, Jim, knock on the door, and uh, there's Jim. First, I'd start with good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm trying to remember they go, uh, so, oh, sorry to bother you. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're just talking to you and your neighbors about uh, something. I don't know, like, world of, you know, isn't the world scary or some shit? It really is. I agree. And, uh, <laughs> like, a lot of Especially people. Especially blacks. Like a lot of people, well, what if I told you you could live in a world where uh, blacks were not, <laughs> were nonviolent and also lions and tigers? <laughs> That's what we did. We'd tell you there'd be a paradise where, like, you'd be able to pet the lions and fucking, you'd meet Moses or some shit. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, it's a so whole. So you say, what would I do? Um, I don't know. I'd probably just continue listening. Really? Yeah. Do you, what if we stopped back and started a home Bible study with you in your home? Do you think you'd be open to that? Um, rather have a cactus crammed in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a, we actually had a book. By the way, we had a book. We had a book of like conversation stoppers and how to get around them. Like, oh wow! Okay, That's how good, about like, this one? I'd rather. What if they said rather have a cactus crammed in my asshole? Conversation stoppers. How you get around? You know, what was what if you lived in a world where cactuses didn't hurt your asshole though? Wouldn't that? <laughs> that would take all the fun away. <laughs> That's what's, a what's the use of trying to come if you're not bleeding from the rectum? Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so no wait, what's a conversation stopper? <laughs> So we're here. I'm very cranky today. You, but what's different than any other Thursday? Dude, I have to come here. Um, I have to come here after doing radio in the morning. And I have to go back and sleep. And then I, I came. And that fucking Mayor Bloomberg, Broadway, used to be six lanes, and now it's one lane because of that billionaire asshole mayor who wanted New York to look like uh, San Francisco. And it's not supposed to be San Francisco. It's supposed to be New York. <laughs> A big ass park in the middle of. 
Yeah, exactly. Another another park. That's what he wants. He's like, it should be should be more comfortable for people to walk around. And, but he said there's going to be less traffic this way. How is it less traffic? Because people are too busy committing suicide. <laughs> uh, they just pull over and they gas themselves in garages. I, I have to say, because I live in this area, this is my hood. Yeah. I'm two blocks away from Times Square. Are you talking black because I'm here? I, yep, hood? Absolutely. That's why I told you to be here at one thirty. It's a 2.15 show. <laughs> it worked out, didn't it? I, <laughs> I, uh, I was here at one thirty. <laughs> and he gave me the wrong address. I was at 38th Street. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. And then he cursed asshole. me out. Where you at? Where you at, you asshole? I'm like, I'm, I'm on 38 and 6. He said, walk to 7. I'm saying, I'm, I'm walking to 7. Oh, wait, are you on 38 or 48? I'm like, you fucking dickhead. You were up by 10 blocks? <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, the 4 is right next to the 3 on the iPhone when you type it. Is, it is, but you could also resend it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it. <laughs> what do you have, like a two, two checks a month plan? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's on a bike, though. He would have never made it. Because he's like, he's never. Never. Catch a cab. Must catch a cab. <laughs> this is the middle of the day. They don't stop. For, they still don't stop for black people. Do so you have a, you have a bike, a bicycle, or, or a motorbike? No, bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. He pulled up. He just whipped it out. It actually took. It was quicker for him to get here from Thirty Eighth Street than it was for him to park his stupid bike. It took him twenty minutes to find a <laughs> dumb pole. The, the, all the poles are taken. I didn't know how New York was so healthy. Well, everybody's riding bikes. Well, again, that's because of all the, the car lanes that have been taken away. So there's bike lanes installed. I'm sure you notice from riding a bike. Yeah, they put a bike lane everywhere, like on a one way street. That's yeah. tiny. And yeah. those and those little fucking medians, those little those little areas with potted plants. Yeah. Times Square is just fucking horrendous. I, I actually like it. I, I, I went down the other night, uh, all the stores are open until two in the morning. You can walk around the streets now without getting killed. I me and my wife went in front of uh, Forever Twenty One and got our photos taken. But you could have done thing. that before, right? Yeah, exactly. No, Wait, you man. get hit by a car. Where in Manhattan do you get killed besides hard? Them. Yeah, you can get if if, if you can't Times Square, you get killed. Yeah, if you if the roads were open, you'd get wiped out trying to stand in front of that camera in front of Forever Twenty One. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> all right, do. that was worth sitting in traffic for. So Bob and his wife should get a fucking photo that they could take anywhere. <laughs> a photo booth. No, but you go up on the big Trinitron screen. Like, you're up there. You can see yourself up there. What are you, a fucking and then a girl, a girl, Exactly. A girl comes out with her pocketbook and will actually, if you stand in the right spot, she'll grab you by the head and pick you up, dangle you, and throw you in her pocketbook. Did you move to Jersey or something? What the fuck <laughs> you- <laughs> I swear to God. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what this means. I just know that there were six lanes and now there's... There's fucking two lanes, and then and then there's no lanes from 44 to um whatever whatever, because right. right. they just put a big ass plant and 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 extra trees. That's exactly what it is. It's it's, it's supposed to look like a fucking comfortable lounging place, right. but this is a city of commerce and business. I, I wish homeless people come there and sit there like a gang of homeless people just take over that area. I would love that to become gang territory. <laughs> Murders every year, rapes. I would love I would love that asshole to have to put traffic lanes back in because it was safer. A pack of N words. Can I say that? Yes, you can actually say the word if you want. We haven't <laughs> until you got here. Then we stopped. A pack of N words. We'll say. Ah, right. Even black guys are saying N words uh, now. We're fucking the battle's no, lost. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> ah, shit. Political correctness has what? fucking kicked us all in the what teeth. The fuck, he just said N word. A pack of what is a pack of uh, niggas? He said a pack of niggas. What's it's, well, how many it's is two a, or more of you? How many of them got the street? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Yeah, if I'm with ten friends, it, it's ten of you. If I'm a Alone, it's two or more. <laughs> <laughs>